What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Leezy the Gifted. The purpose of this podcast is we do a brand new audio episode every single day. The goal is to get to 366 days in a row. We're on episode 170. I think so 173 days in a row. It's been amazing. I love it So if you're looking for any kind of tips on as an artist marketing mindset um, Music production stuff. We're gonna talk about it. We're also gonna talk lifestyle stuff too, all those good things. So I Had a great question yesterday. I was on the phone with one of my boys my boy Ben Waters and uh, AKA Ben music on Instagram you can go check him out, but his question to me he was like I want to know how to stop judging myself when I'm in the production process. How to stop judging myself when I'm in the production process. That's an incredible question because I know as an artist myself, I've made a lot of songs. I have no clue how many. It's gotta be a thousand, but I don't have any, I don't know, but it's a lot. It's a lot of songs. I've been doing music for 10 years, um, rapping and producing. And so when you're in the studio, especially when, you know, when I'm by myself, completely by myself, which is majority of the time I'm by myself, you're like, is this any good? I don't really know. I feel kind of good about it, but I don't really know if it's going to be good. And even still, dude, I put my reps in 10 years and I still have that same question. I'm still thinking, damn, is this any good or not? And so my, 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 my tip for that specific thing, how to stop judging yourself. There's a lot to that, right? It's a deep question. It's a it's an easy question to ask and it's a deep question to answer because everybody's got their own thing going on in their head and I can't read everybody's mind. But what I can say is this. The thing that's helped me with stop with me not judging myself as much a couple of things. I would say the first thing you got to think about when it comes to not judging yourself in the studio is is Go back to the core of why you're even doing music. For me, the core of why I'm doing music is because I have to do it. I feel like I'm physically and emotionally and spiritually and mentally drawn to like creating music. I have to do music, right? So when I make music, literally the sole purpose of it is almost like meditation. It's like I have to, I have to do it to uplift myself. It's not about money. It is, I want to make money. Don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> you already know I'm trying to get that bag. But the core reason I started doing music wasn't for the money. It was I love this thing and I love doing this thing more than I love doing anything else with my time. And I want to keep doing it. And I want to earn a real income with it. So, so I'm sure you feel something similar to music. I'm sure you're like, well, I just love music and I love making music. Get back to that. The next thing is don't take your songs too seriously. Like it's not like every single time you get into the studio or you start making music, you have to make your next hit. It doesn't have to be that. In fact, it's probably likely not. You're probably at a point in your career where you're not pumping out records that are getting a million streams each. If you are, I have no clue how you found this podcast, but shout out to you. But most of the people listening and watching this You're not pumping out million streams, 2 million, 10 million streams because you're probably not going to need this podcast if you were. I don't know. Maybe you are. But you're probably still trying to figure out your way of like how am I going to get these streams? How am I going to make it? All that good stuff. It's hard. You kind of have to try to separate that pressure from the creativity. And I know that's hard. And I feel guilty even saying that because I know in my career getting started, I was very much like I couldn't separate that this song needs to be big and the creativity. Now I've separated those things because I just separated those things. And and so for you, when you're in the studio and you're thinking, how do I not judge myself? Remember that like every time you get in the studio, you should think of it like you're going to the gym. Don't think of it like I'm performing. You know what I mean? Let's talk basketball, okay? Let's use basketball terms. Big basketball fan, obviously. I'm a coach, played basketball growing up. And um, so like, when you're working on basketball, like you're working on shooting, you're working on dribbling, like all that stuff, right? That's your working out, that's your getting better, that's your practicing. But when you actually go and put on your jersey and you go into your game where there's fans and the referees, that's that like game, the performance time. Same with you as a musician, you being in the studio is practice. That's you practicing by yourself, dribbling, working on your shots. And the best way to practice is making music and making songs. 
I go in the studio every single day I'm damn near working on music. Like the last couple of weeks, I've been working on music every single day. And I just went on this amazing trip to LA. And since I've been back from LA, I've, I've worked on music every single day. I've worked on a brand new song every day. Am I finishing every song? Absolutely not. No, I'm not finishing them. I'm starting projects though every single day. And I'll write a verse or I'll maybe write a hook and I'll put it away and I might not, I might not ever work on it again. And it's fine. Not every song you start has to be finished. It does not have to be. You can just get your reps in, right? Get your reps. Just try to figure out what sounds good. And like, I think you'll know. You'll know when your song really sounds good. Like I know, I know my sound, okay? I know, I've been putting in my reps. I've done this for 10 years. So I know what I do that sounds good and what I do that doesn't. When I try to experiment, I try to do a certain vibe that I'm not sure if it's gonna work, it doesn't always work. In fact, most of the time it doesn't work. But when I do stuff where I'm like, oh, I know this is gonna work. I know, by the way, here's how I know things work. I put out a lot of music. I've put it out to the public and I've gotten reactions from people. So if you're in this point where you're like, oh, I barely put music out there, I don't promote it that much, well, you're gonna have a problem knowing what sounds good. So honestly, one of the things is judging yourself too is you're looking at everything through your lens, but you're like, well, I don't even know what my fans like or what they wanna hear from me. You know what I mean? You might be in that spot. I'm in the spot where I know what my fans want to hear. Like I know what people like. I Because I've put out so many songs and I can gauge the different reactions. So I know what's good and what's not good. You know what I mean? And so plus I've, yeah, like I've, I've done the things that need to happen and now people are telling me there's this certain sound that I have that I know sounds good. I know that I used to be very like energetic, like more of like a, I'm trying to make like these high energy trap melody type songs. And, but now I'm starting to do this new sound where it's more smooth, low key, real, like more like talking rap. You know what I mean? Instead of me trying to like say stuff to you, instead of me trying so hard to get that energy out, I'm more like low key, laid back, smooth, chill, right at night type of music. And I haven't put any of it out. I put a little bit of it, but not much, but I, I have it in the vault. I've been showing it to people and they're like, this is your new sound. You have to go with this. So now when I go in the studio now, I'm like, all right, you know, I know what sounds good and what doesn't. I know that if I go with that chill, low key vibe, I'm gonna get a hit. And I know if I try to do something else, I might not get a hit, but I can still get the reps. And I know right when I start making the beat. So the, the, the biggest thing to take away from this, this video and this lesson is to stop judging yourself First off, remember why you're doing music. You're doing music because you literally love doing music. You have to do music because you feel inclined and you feel connected spiritually to doing music. Okay, do it for that. Do music for that reason. Don't, don't be getting in the studio thinking, I gotta make my hit, I gotta make a hit, I gotta make a hit, right? The next thing too is realize that don't take every song so seriously because you might go in there, you might go in the studio and make a song and you might get defeated by the studio because you didn't make a hit. Cool, so what? I'll get in tomorrow. You know what I mean? We're really truly never defeated unless we defeat ourselves. So stop defeating yourself. Stop beating yourself up. It's all what's going on in your head. That's all that's happening. Now, I cannot read your mind. Can't read your mind and I can't gauge what your life is like and I can't judge you. Cool, all good. I don't need to, I don't even care to, it's not my business, it's your business. But what I can try to do is I can try to help you out as best I can and the best way for me to start helping people right now is I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now I don't work with every single person because not everybody's a good fit, not everybody's at the right place in their career to get results from me. I don't like to work with people if I can't get them direct results. So the best way to gauge if we're a good fit is all you have to do is click below and book a 15 minute call with me and we can set up a time to figure out are we even a good fit for each other? Because we might not be and that's cool with me, I don't care. I have so much content out here for free that if we're not a good fit to work one-on-one, -on -one, you can go check out my content. You know, you can go watch my YouTube videos and get stuff from me for free that will probably help you in the place you're at, okay? But the content I put out is very foundational. The coaching is that next level, right? Me helping you one-on-one -on -one is like, I'm gonna get you to that next level and I'm gonna give you specialized help, which I personally think everyone needs, okay? So if you got any value from the episode, do me a huge favor, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the podcast, share it with a friend. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that bell notification. That's the big one. Hit that bell notification so every time I put out a video, you are informed, all right? 
Thank you so much for watching and for listening and for tuning in. I appreciate you so much, and I will talk to you again soon. Peace.